welcome to the spring 2023 cycle of the Royalty Project. How many of you guys know what you're getting into this morning? <laughs> Probably not, but I'm yeah. glad you came on and you trusted your parents and you're ready for the journey. So a couple minutes ago, you told me your mom's made you do it, right? Yeah. Now, are you glad you did it now? Yes. Why is that? Because I got to travel and uh -huh. I got to learn about wealth. So I didn't fully understand it. Are you excited about it? Yeah. Okay. Well, because I feel like we were able to act like we were in like society. The session I like the most is when we got to pick our own jobs and you guys were trying to convince us, oh yeah, get this, get that, get this. I only bought the sensible thing. Okay, so a lot of people try to, you know, win me over and none of it works. Well, because I want to be able to handle my money correctly. My favorite session was the one where we was doing the money so well because it tells me like what I can do with my money when I get older. The room session was the wealth session, specifically because of learning about Black Wall Street. Well, because you get to choose how to spend your money mm -hmm. and debate with the buyers. Well, it was my favorite session because I got to experience what adults do when it comes to jobs and taxes and stuff. Do you think you have a better idea of the type of budgeting and managing your parents have to do now after going through this exercise? I see some heads nodding. I said, dear future me, I am proud of how far you've come in being an author and writing many books based on your life experiences. I am honored to know that I paved the way for your dream. In addition, open up your own clinic to help those in need. Dear future self, I hope that you are very happy and wealthy, and I hope that you learn to be an engineer. Every session we close out with a reveal. We reveal incomplete, inaccurate history and perceptions involving African descendants. What was revealed for you today? I just learned in total that life costs. I think it's like super important to know those skills so that in the future, you're able to save your money for necessities or just for your own enjoyment. Went through a couple sessions. We had culture. We had missing history. We had wealth. We had image. You have melanin, and then today you did self-expression. So which one of those sessions did you appreciate the most, or did you identify connected the most? Well, we did the superpowers because I could tell people like what I want to be, like how I feel. In the culture session, because I like meeting everybody, talking about our different superpowers. What was your superpower? My superpower was invisibility. Now. Going through the whole program now, would you say that your superpower is the same or would you say it's different? I'd say it's different. What would you say that it is then? A person who likes to communicate to other people. Okay. Because at first I was really shy, mm -hmm. but then once I was here with all these people, it made me learn how to communicate better with other people. It made you feel a little bit more comfortable, huh? Okay. You mentioned you wanted to be invincible before. Yes. And then you kind of mentioned that moving forward, you felt like you didn't really need that superpower anymore. So just explain what changed your mind as far as... What changed my mind is because like now being able to walk up on stages, um, say poems and stuff to all other royal youth um, members, and then clapping and seeing the excitement on the people's face, it makes me really proud and efficient to come out myself. A lot of superheroes, superpowers, supernatural things going on in this space. Let's give us all some snaps. What was your favorite session? We'll do Missing History because it gives us uh, more information about the past and then we could probably use it in the future. Missing History because I like history and knowledge. Missing History. Missing History. It's something you don't learn in school. It's something that's not done. It's not in the school curriculum, so learning it also took me by surprise how it's related to everything, yet it's not included. If we tell our own history and we narrate our own stories, we're going to give it the magnificence, the excellence, the brilliance, um, and the accuracy it deserves. And what was your favorite session? My favorite session was self-image. Because it doesn't matter how other people look at you, it only matters how you look at yourself.
My favorite session was melanin. My favorite session was either melanin or self-image. How was it? Give me a sneak. Give me a sneak preview. It was, everybody good. Come in. It was very uplifting for all of us. It was magic. If I would just to encapsulate it in one word. What did we reveal today? You're beautiful the way you are. There's nothing to change. God made you how you are for a reason. It's important that you have people around you that sees your value and respects you for who you are. Now let's get our tribe situated with our tribe vibe. So all roll you, unmute, and call out the words in the space with the intention of ushering them into the space. Love, safe, safe equal, family, good vibes, freedom, family. Heard. Freedom, equal, heard. Family. family. Freedom, family. Respected. Safety. Respect. No love. Good vibes. Family. Family. Uplifting. Powerful. Love. Equal. What does it mean to be black? Is that you're very powerful. Be black to me means to like shine like a diamond. Be a part of history. Being black means to be strong, powerful, and courageous. Being black is part of your expression, and it's also your truth. So for me, being black means getting the opportunities that other people didn't have, mm -hmm. and also just having pride in myself, being like, you can do this, you got this, because yeah. they paved the way for you to have success. Being black means to be strong, powerful, empowered, and to stand out when you're in a community. It means to have a rich history. How do you feel to be black? If, if really feels great because it, it gives gives me confidence and, and then make makes me want to achieve more things around here like you guys to show who you are and be yourself what it means to be black is to be wealthy take care of yourself and make sure you stand out and be different i feel great relief now that i know what melanin is the fact is that being black or brown can have many positive things and helps to be more unique and and share those cool ideals with others how would you describe the royalty project it's a great place because there's a big community that can push you all the way and i know that people will be standing beside me supporting me something that can teach old and young children about their culture and about being black. The Royalty Project is finding your culture, like finding yourself, like learning about the things that, you know, that aren't taught at school. Royalty Project is to help kids learning about their background, identity, and their ancestors. Royalty Project is like telling people what being black means. I feel like it's basically missing history. It's like learning yourself and also learning your culture while also having, expressing already what you know and you know it's also about communicating with others that are just like you yet we're different in so many ways people is very powerful here they're very comfortable in who they are and i love that ufc project is a place where you're able to explore new ideas mm -hmm. and learn about the past and how we can grow from that how would you describe the royalty project i would describe it as very fun and exciting and a program that the young black youth should be looking forward to. Anyone, to, anyone who's watching this, <laughs> we're gonna have an amazing time. As like a cultural thing that you can learn more about your melanin and like the your bl the blackness in you. I would describe it like helping black people like to really show who they really are. I would describe it as an opportunity to like embrace being black. Yeah. The Oilty Project has helped me explore black people's purpose in the world. It just shows black dignity, black art, just being black in a black purpose. At the end of the cycle, you too shall be referred to as queen and or king. So we're going to close out with what is known to us as our chant. Salute the kings and queens in the place to be. Let them know that we're royalty. All we got is us straight loyalty. Let them know. We 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 let them know.